Hi guys, it's Daniel's Brothers here, and I did not think I would be saying welcome to episode 21 <laughs> of um, modding with Universal Minecraft Editor. Guys, I'd just like to say as well, thanks very much to Matt. I mean, come on, how have you done this? This is great. Honestly, I'm so happy you've made this work. Well done. And everyone else should be happy as well. So this is GRF editing, okay? Now this is newly just added like a couple of days ago into Universal Minecraft Editor. Now I want to give a quick shout out as well to Noble Dares and Redstone and Labs. Well, you guys are really clever as well because you found out how to make coloured words. Um, obviously in GRF files. I'll show you exactly what I mean in a minute. Um, I'm just at the end of the video. I'll probably pop up. There's a picture he posted on Twitter. I'll pop that up with all the colours you can get and stuff. And codes and stuff. But anyway, let's get on with this little example and I'll show you exactly what is this. Okay. So GRF stands for Game Rules Files. Okay. Now what this is, is obviously like when you spawn in a world, you can customise what you spawn in with. Okay. Um, like items and stuff, you might have seen it before in some of my maps and other people's maps. You know, like if you're playing factions, people spawn you in with... You know like how you spawn in with a map? That's a GRF file, basically. Um, but we can change that now, thanks to Matt. And we could spawn in with multiple items because, you know, in the past we've only been able to do it with one item. Now that's thanks to the tutorial world, because they used to give us a piece of steak. <laughs> um, but yeah, we can actually spawn in with all full armor on and whatever items you want now. It's absolutely crazy. Now I'll show you how that works in a minute, okay? But obviously I need to load up a new save. But anyway, I'll just set up a few examples what you can do with this GRF files. Now we can actually add custom messages up here, guys, up in the top corner. I'm trying to get up there now <laughs> with my little crosshair thing. But uh, yeah, as you watch, right? This is amazing for people who are going to make quest maps and I don't know, you can do anything with it, trust me. So I got in here, four blocks, okay? Now watch when I pick up this, blue concrete, blue block collected. <laughs> and you're going to guess what? Green block collected, red block collected and black block collected. Now this is just a quick example showing you, you know, if you were making a quest map or something, um, I'm actually going to hop into survival as well uh, in a minute. Well, yeah, let's just do it now. I'll just grab myself a diamond sword. I've just set up. A, it's not the best example in the world, but you know what I mean. It's going to, you know, you guys will get the gist of it. Um, as you can hear, there's some zombies. Um, so anyway, so, you know, as I was saying, you could like make this into a quest system. And then if you pick up another one, you know, it's going to tell you what it was. Yellow block. So imagine, like, you made a map and, I don't know, you put chests all around and you wanted to collect, I don't know, certain emeralds or something. Because this works, guys, with damage values as well, okay? I'll explain more in a minute on the video. But anyway, I'll just set this up quickly. So imagine, like, you're playing a map you've made and you got zombies, right? And these zombies have got keys that... Oh my god, I'm probably going to get my butt kicked. <laughs> owned, owned, owned. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, I was killed <laughs> by the key protector. Now, let me just hop back into creative. Now, these guys actually drop a key. Now, that was the only way for me to get out of that room, if you know what I mean. Let's see. But these guys are quite noisy. I haven't picked up one yet. They got a 90% chance of dropping one. So I should get one in a minute. Basically when I pick up... There you go. Look, ready? Yes! <laughs> you got the key. That's exactly what I'm trying to show you. So now I got the key. Look. And get out of this little room. And yeah. <laughs> That's awesome, right guys? Honestly, I think that is amazing. Now it only pops up once because I've made it a whitelist. But again, I'll explain that in a minute. But yeah, let's get rid of all these items, okay? And I'm going to hop on Universal Minecraft Editor now and show you exactly what this is and how it works and everything, alright? So I'll jump on the PC now. 
Right, so I'm gonna load up the GRF, which I've called it, which was the file I was just on. Okay, so here's my player, blah, blah, blah. No inventory, as you can see. Okay. Now, what I need to do here is just delete upon save, okay? So I'm gonna delete the guy now, save it. And now I'm just gonna X. Now I'm gonna load up again my GRF. And as you can see, I've got zero players now, okay? Now this is just for if you, I'm just trying to show you what exactly you can do with this GRF, as in spawning in, okay? So we go on this diamond button, which is the speciality mods. Now I've already got a GRF file preloaded, which is actually the tutorial world. As you can see, I've got a piece of steak. And this is obviously the coordinates of the tutorial world. Now, I don't want those coordinates. I just want zero, zero, and I don't know, 10 for now. That's fine. Rotation, oh, I don't really mind. But you, as you can see, guys, you get to edit all these things. Like, you got a slider here to edit your health and hunger. But it needs to be together because previously, when I've been using um, MCC tool chest, and edit in a GRF file, it always had to be the same amount of health as hunger. I don't know, when you change them together, I think the crashes and stuff. So I think Matt's just kept it like that. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's probably why, I would say. But anyway, who wants who wants to have spawn in with two life? Come on, everyone just wants full. Unless you're doing like a UHC or something and you want that. But you're only going to last for about three seconds with that hunger, aren't you? So, yeah, I don't know. Just leave it like that if I was you. This is the important one, the inventory. Now, this is, like I said, the tutorial one. I'll have a link for this little GRF file in the video description, okay? But yeah, I can edit this piece of steak, but I don't want it anyway. So if you just uh, right click, okay, and you can add whatever items you want. So say if I wanted oak wood um, to spawn in this is with to spawn in okay so say like you're playing a factions and oak woods the starter kit or something and I can um, just spawning with a full set of leather armor if I want like so uh, we're just gonna put on some chain mail leggings just to different it up a bit and some Diamond boots. So I'll just type in boots. It should pop up. There we go. So we're going to spawn in with that, that, and let's put up in this top right corner a piece of stone. <laughs> Oops. There we go. Okay. So that's that. Now, that's my character. Okay. Now, this is how I've done the messages. Right. Now, this is the best bit about this GRF thing. I mean, the spawner name of all these items is amazing, but this tops it off honestly now as you can see it's quite strange honestly <laughs> so basically I'll just do a new one here so this is what you'll get if you press new okay now I don't know if these work or not because I'm British I don't know I know from a bit of French but <laughs> I, oh they do actually look okay okay that's cool um if you're obviously French German whatever you can change the language here for whatever you're suited <laughs> whatever country you're from um but yeah this is basically what you get okay so all you do is click on these and you can edit these look to whatever you want pretty straightforward and um, we'll just leave that like that enter obviously goes down pretty straightforward and if you double click on message you can name this like whatever you want god blah 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 pretty straightforward okay but this is the important bit. So if you want to attach this message for when it pops up for a certain item, you need to do it like this, okay? To so say if I wanted a piece of granite, okay, <laughs> to pop up with type your message, blah, 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 okay? I need to leave it like this. But this is only gonna work if, this is what this whitelist means, okay? It's only gonna work if I choose it to activate. Okay, now I can't actually show you that because I haven't actually got my player anymore. So what I'm going to do, guys, is just save this now, load up my game, and show you that I should spawn in with all these bits. 
all these bits, okay? And we'll come back on it, okay? Bear with me. Right, here we go, guys. So I should spawn in with a full set of armor. A uh, piece of stone at the top right. And, whoa. <laughs> that is crazy, isn't it? I actually spawned 10 blocks high. So, as you can see, I've got my diamond boots, chain leggings, leather armor, and a cap my piece of stone and my map as standard and obviously my 20 oak log blocks or whatever you call them anyway so that's that part guys so let's go back on the actual universal minecraft editor and show you how to make these messages okay now i just needed my player to show you how i did it right let's load it up again now guys i'm going to be truthful here because I've been playing around with this map for too long, playing around with different GRF files and stuff. Guys, it, ke it keeps crashing on me. Um, so please, if you're going to play around with these, make sure you make backups, okay? Now, I'm just going to explain this, but it will crash. So, fingers crossed it will hold up till it's okay. But basically, what Whitelist does, okay? Now, I've got my player open, okay? When you've got a whitelisted item, okay, basically any item that you choose, it will pop up. Now, I actually chose granite, didn't I? So, there he is. So, we right click on that now, it will say GRF message, and that was the god juju thing I chose, okay? So, that's what whitelist does. So, it doesn't actually, you know, make it already have the GRF file, you need to enable it, okay? So I'm just going to disable that for a minute, whoa, just going to put none for a minute and tick that, okay. Go back to the speciality mods, go on here, and what blacklist does then, okay, is the other thing, yeah, the opposite, okay. So when I exit out of here, it will automatically go on there. Now, you can still do that as well, but it just automatically chooses it for you, okay. Pretty straightforward. So, I'm guessing if I, I don't know, add another piece of granite, it's automatically going to, yeah. It automatically puts, on every single piece of granite now, it will automatically put that GRF file. But unfortunately, guys, I can't actually show you on here, so I'm going to have to make it on another map to show you. Because watch when I save, it, it just does this. Because I've played around with too much stuff. So, bear with me. Right guys, so I've loaded up one of my worlds called New Mods, and basically I've set up a piece of grass with a GRF. Now I just noticed as well, when you actually enable it, it adds another compound tag with 4J data in it. Now that's quite interesting, isn't it? I wonder if that had something to do with why my one was crashing. Anyway, so let's save this one, and it should be all good, as you can see. I must have played around with the other one too much or something. But anyway, let's get on the Xbox, and I'll show you exactly what happens right here's the save new mods <clears throat> now we're looking for a piece of glass block in slot 5 which I've got and here we go if I throw it on the ground pick it up hello YouTube <laughs> see guys it's that easy right now I'm just gonna show you one last thing at the end of this video, how I got the colours, and I just want to say again, a big thanks to Noble Dares and Stealthy Expert for even figuring this out and posting it on Twitter. So this is the picture I'm on about. So this says, these are for GRF messages. Use them in front of a text to change the font styling, which also represents colours, okay? Now what you have to do is put a bracket, a star, and then whatever the code is, and then another star, and a bracket. But it's not the normal bracket, it's the one with like a, I don't know, a little triangle in the middle, if that makes sense. I don't know the technical name of this bracket, but anyway, so as you can see, that is all that. Um, but yeah, again, big thanks to them for finding that. And that is the end of the episode, guys. Now, I hope you like this little one. Matt, you've done really well with this. Good job, man. <laughs> Please, Keep updating the program. We all love it. And we all love you. <laughs> Legend. Anyway, so I'm Dan Ross Thanks very much for watching. Episode 21. Unbelievable. Anyway, catch you in the next one.